Okay, so it took me out of Ermin Soul, but now I don't know where to go because there's no quest that showed up. The character is currently vulnerable. Nahida is doing fucking shit. I just need to talk to Nahida because the balladeer is going absolutely sicko mode, but I have to do this quest because it's stupid. We're out! And we're at... Uh... An inn or something? Nope. I'll have to ask you to stay here for now. Everything's arranged. And nobody will disturb you. I want to help. I'm sorry, but this isn't something I need your help with. Leave this one to me. He wants to change the past? But surely that's impossible. It's not easy, but it's possible. Right. It's like, um, imagine Paimon drank all the water in this inn. Even if no one was there to see it, Paimon would sure as heck remember drinking it. Huh? Ah! Paimon. You know how expensive that is? It's the Balladeer's fault for causing Paimon all this mental stress! Wow. Blaming others for your actions, Paimon, I see. There's no way he'll actually succeed, right? <sighs> Otherwise, won't everyone who's connected to him be affected too? Uh... What do we... What was Paimon supposed to be doing just now? Paimon was... Um... Talking? Huh. Paimon suddenly can't remember what she was talking about. What was it again? You were getting so worried about the situation with the bow that you started losing foods. Hmm? The bow deer? Is that a food too? <gasps> if this is really happening, I need to know what else has changed. Paimon, come with me. Hmm? Okay, sure. If I'm correct, there is a... Um, there is a chest in a tree somewhere here. But I don't know where. Pushed off the bridge. I know I need to come here. Hello there, Andu. You miss me? I don't miss you. I remember when all that shit happened here at this house. I remember when there was that 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 warrior samurai thing. I remember when y'all were taking visions. And I remember when you were selling fireworks. And I met Yoimiya for the first time. Now I gotta talk to Mr. Man. The art of forging practiced by these Bang. five clans Bing. was first taught to them Bing. personally by the almighty Shogun. Over time, the five branches diverged from one another as generations of bladesmiths honed and perfected their craft. But fortunately, Kaidahara Kazuha recently returned to Inazuma and took up the mantle of the Ishin art. Now, two clans remain of the original Gokuden Five. If my memory serves me right, you yourself were present when he forged the Ishin blade. I remember that, yes. Oh, yeah, we were! Traveler, it's been a while. I was not expecting that voice to come out of that body. The commissioner is out on business, and Miss Kamisato is standing in for some meetings in the commissioner's place. If it's urgent, you're welcome to wait inside until they get back. Ayato is still the Yasho commissioner. Ayaka is the lady of the house. Nothing changes. As far as I can see, nothing changes in the Yashi commission either. Why am I talking so fast? I was expecting as much, but it is still a big relief to know that the Kamisato siblings are both safe and well. Well, got any more questions? Can I take a shit in the sand real quick? Are you two leaving already? Yep. Everything's taken care of now. Don't worry. Very well. Safe travels. Goodbye. Bye. Are you here to play with me? Uh, not today. I'm looking for clues. I'm looking for flopping clues. Is that? Oh, I thought that was Scaramouche right there. Do my eyes deceive me, or is that the Traveler and Paimon? Xavier, what are you doing here? Xavier, what did you just say? So there's no more Kabubu no more. He really managed to erase himself from history. So if you wanted to change the world and revert everything back to the way it was, but for so far, fuck, I already, I can't read. Before I do that, I want the money. I need to get the money and destroy these mother. Hey, don't mind if I do, I'll take these. I sure hope an enemy doesn't appear out of fucking nowhere. Investigate. Oh, I forgot. Oh my god. Yeah. 
some this guy like does some deals or something with the with the what the I don't have that bro do I not explore this game at all well I'll uh, see you later I'm going back to Surmerlu so I can go and meet Nabita and say hey there Nahida it's me Lume we just got back from Inazuma so how about we tell them what did you find out something big it's your mom Balladeer? Hmm. This sounds like some kind of code name. She doesn't even remember. You look troubled. Is there something you need to tell me? This puppet known as the Balladeer erased himself from Ermin's soul, hoping that he could change the past. But how was he even able to do that? As the Traveler said, he very nearly became Sumeru's deity. Admittedly, I remember it a little differently. I don't recall finding anyone inside the machine after we defeated it. Nevertheless, it does make sense. If someone were to successfully erase themselves from Ermensoul, the world would change to reflect the new reality. Please wait a moment. I want to check something. Just let me pull out my phone and you check my email real quick. Going down, down. Oops. <laughs> I fell. <laughs> Come on, brain. Let's dig this out. It's gotta be in there somewhere. It was something about Ermensol and deleting oneself. Greater Lord Ruka Devakta. Forbidden knowledge. Nahida. What is it? Have you figured it all out? No. I'm still thinking. Excuse me, boss. There seems to be a small problem with the last bill. Look. Here. I found the balladeer. It's him. He, he got a fresh fade and a fresh cut and a fresh hat. Who's that guy? You know him or something? That guy is the balladeer. He's who? The balladeer. The wanderer be wandering around, wandering and pondering his existence. Looking at trees, walking around, bending yeah. down to grab a sunsetia. Hell yeah. Even though you say he's the balladeer, what are we planning on doing? Oh, all right. This should be enough. Hmm. Ah, guess I should wash them before I take them back. If I wasn't seeing this with my own eyes, I would never believe it. But I am, huh? and I'm believing it. It's me. Do you remember me, bro? You two over there. Is there something I can help you with? <laughs> he spotted us! Also, he doesn't even know us. You've been following me all the way from the city. I'd have to be blind not to notice. You're right, we were following you. Here you go, boss. I'll leave them right here. Thank you. Oh, you really went and picked some more. Hmm. Who are these two? Just some friends. <gasps> it's so let me be clear. <laughs> Hell yeah. Spider-Man. Oh! Well, that was parkour right there. Nahida! What's wrong? Found him. Huh? Are you? Hello. I do apologize for the sudden intrusion. We found this guy in the street, but he doesn't so, yeah, quite an eventful walk. Okay, I have to ask. What was I like in my previous incarnation? An absolute a-hole. Um, uh... Oh, okay. I see. You want to tell me, but you can't bring yourselves to say it. Looks like I didn't have the most wonderful existence in my previous incarnation, but I'll be able to handle it. Please, tell me the truth. Okay, uh, well, you first tried to uh, kill someone, and then you got abducted by the Tui, and then you wanted to take a Gnosis, and then you took the Gnosis, but then you wanted more. And you came to Sumeru, and then you're like, hey, I want to become a god, and then they decided to do it with you, and then you're like, yeah, boy, let's do this stuff. But then you're like, oh, god, I can't handle this anymore, and then we came to kick your butt. And now here you are. Mm-hmm. There's someone passed out on the ground. <sighs> Who are you? Y you're awake. <gasps> what happened? How'd you get stuck here? A are you injured? Uh-huh. Not a scratch. And these fine clothes. Who are you? Your mom. Well, well, my fair lady. Is this rundown fast? Signora! Competent fools all for me? Wow. You might not want to admit it. 
but you are a part of this plan. Perhaps you find fighting in the Abyss to be a more meaningful use of your time? Oh, but of course, even this pales in comparison to being experimented on by the Doctor. <laughs> what a sharp tongue you have. Funny how negotiating never seems to be your strong suit. For the task ahead, I suggest you keep your true feelings to yourself. <laughs> Save your breath. I know what I have to do. I'm sure you think so, but I still think you need to hear it. Don't start thinking you're invincible. And don't let your emotions get in the way. Surely you're not worried about me. I just can't have you getting in my way. You and Child never fail to find ways to complicate things. I'm merely lighting a little fire in this chaotic nation. But you, being tossed out like trash, must make you want to destroy it completely. Do you remember the last time you were here? That was a lot of swordsmiths you killed. I'm sure the descendants of the ride in Gokaden are still suffering the consequences now. Look at you. Oh, don't get so sentimental. Now, give that poor little tongue of yours a rest and stop pretending like you're above everyone else. Bye then. See you at the victory feast. Considering that Amorta's sage, Nafis, refused to join this project, I'll take part in the experiment in his place. Welcome. I look forward to a fruitful collaboration. <sighs> when do we start? You seem impatient. You should know that becoming a god is far from a trivial affair. The biological transformation is a lengthy process. As such, I too would recommend that we commence as soon as possible. In the event that a successful connection is established, his body will become permanently bound to the machine, and he will be unable to move independently of it. Nothing worse than what I've been through before then, Doctor. You were the most resilient test subject I ever came across. Thanks to you, I was able to garner a great deal of information. Information? Alas, after that, you were under orders to remain in the Abyss. We barely saw each other and it became difficult to further refine the knowledge I had gained. That was gracefully worded. Ever wonder what they'd think if they knew that nothing matters to you, apart from your crazy experiments? I suggest you speak to me in a more respectful tone, Scaramouche. The mere fact of your utility does not make you indestructible. The doctor again? <sighs> that was uncomfortable to watch. That person? gives off a very sinister energy. Let's move on. You're a god. Do you think I'm evil? If you accept that he is you, just as you are you, then yes, you are evil. I've seen enough of my past. If possible, I'd like to reclaim the sins that are mine to bear. No matter the consequences, I won't run from blame or punishment. Whatever I am due, let it come to pass. Can you return my memories to me? What? Huh? But won't that mean you'll lose your current identity? So I beg you, grant me this opportunity to gain a purpose, to change my destiny, and end my wandering. Oh, here comes the cube of knowledge. You have made your decision. Now, take this. Set him free. A puppet? What's he doing here? It's... You're a human as far as I'm concerned. Everyone's here. Wonderful. What a fine blade. Nagamasa will be thrilled. This is... my... What the fuck? No Doesn't that only work if someone's in it?
Oh, you. worthless dross. We'll be purged. That's why... This won't be the end. I don't understand why that robot is for Oh shit, he gained a vision. It's fine, but I was just thinking, I should probably change it. Oh, oh, oh! Paimon wants to pick an ugly nickname for you, too! Why? Because... because Paimon still doesn't like you that much! <laughs> <laughs> then I hope we don't see much of each other in the future. A name is life's first gift. You didn't say it out loud, but I know that's what you're thinking. <sighs> The Traveler and Paimon have helped you a lot. If you can't decide on a new name, maybe you can ask them for ideas. I can name them? Well, Paimon only does nicknames. If it's a serious name you're after, it's all yours. Bruh. I'm just gonna name him Bruh, cause Bruh. There. Now you have a name of your own. Bruh. What about a nickname? <laughs> The dark clouds had dissipated, but they continued to cast their shadow in Mikoshi Nagamasa's mind for decades to come. Then, one night, as an old man, he had a dream. On the night when that prized blade, the Daitatara Nagamasa, was forged, the people rejoiced, and there was painting, dancing, and drinking. Dancing. All these expressions of joy melted down in the furnace fire and turned into red clouds that rallied around the final sunrise that Mikoshi Nagamasa saw in his lifetime. Life is a story too long to be told. A journey that you must walk to behold. 